Yeah, I mean, I built it like two days too late, but um, now nobody can stick their leg in the clutch anymore. <laughs> I mean, unless you really tried, you can like, you know, yeah. put your leg right there. But if you're running the scooter and you stand on this side for any reason, yeah, um, and it's also strong enough that if you drop the scooter, it won't mess up the clutch. And it's kind of going with the same theme of uh, the gas tank, which is, you know, stainless steel welded with uh, non-stainless wire. So it'll, the seams will all rust over time. And I think that's gonna look super cool. So now I just have one more piece to build like that. And that would be the rear fender. Working on? Um, working on mounting these sweet ox beam headlights. Uh, they're all wired up now, so they go on when you turn the key on. Currently cool. they're red and yellow. That can be changed, obviously. This is the uh, original high low beam button from the snowmobile that the engine came out of, so. That is so cool. <laughs> and then they just go on or off, depending, you know, with the key. Nice. So they're always on one way or another. This plate here, we go across there, and those will be bolted to it. That's just the mounting plate, essentially. Um, and then I might make like a, I think I'll make like a housing of some sort around them to make it look even cooler. Yeah. Just, you know, because I can. Awesome. heat shield for the exhaust. I started out working this piece of aluminum. It was an old clutch guard off the snowmobile. Um, I was thinking of maybe just forming it around it because aluminum would make a better heat shield, it dissipates heat faster, but without the proper sheet metal working tools, it's just kind of impossible to uh, shape it properly. And I don't think I'd be able to make it look good. So plan B is to take this stock exhaust and chop it up. Hopefully this will be enough uh, heat shielding. Um, like right here it's almost touching, but it's not. Uh, but it's got a lot more space all throughout the midsection here. Um, there's maybe a quarter inch gap on the edges, a uh, quarter to half inch. But in the center part there, there's like up to an inch gap. Like right there, there's almost an inch of space between this and the pipe. And it only is touching in three points, which is here, here, and here, the three bolts that hold it on. So with the airflow behind there, I think it'll be plenty to keep it from um, doing any serious damage. Especially if you're wearing like jeans or, or leather or something like non-flammable. Mm -hmm. It'll definitely be enough for that. Gassing up the scooter to do her first rip session after she's got the new upgrades. Hopefully we don't kill anybody this time. So 
We just got our 100,000 subscriber silver play button in the mail and we had a party, had a bunch of friends over. So one of our friends has a real flamethrower, which is totally legal in Idaho apparently, is what we hear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have this like Japanese like privacy barrier thing and we're gonna light it on fire with the flamethrower and Ethan's gonna ride through it with the snowmobile scooter. There it is, back up Luke. We just released our first t-shirts. They're available for pre-order on our website, which is also released like just a couple hours ago. The link's in the description. We got a bunch of really cool stuff on there. We have the track times for around the track. We're, we're doing build threads for all the different builds. So you guys can see like what parts we used and things like that. It's gonna be so cool. Check it out. And of course, that's where we'll sell all the uh, swag as we, as we get it. Uh, we're also working on some stickers and we just got this in the mail, which is super Woo. cool. Thanks for all the <laughs> subscribes. This is our, uh, you know, 100,000 uh, subscriber play button. We're super excited. Thanks for watching and uh, go check out the t-shirts. Oh yeah. You! You! <laughs>